Absolute value inequalities are a pain for many students. Let's take a look at such a problem step by step together. The absolute value of any quantity is the positive version if the quantity is positive, but the negative version if the quantity is negative. Let's use this for each of the two absolute values we see. The absolute value of x minus 3 is the positive version if x is greater than 3, and the negative version if x is less than 3. Let's now do the same thing for the other absolute value. It'll be x plus 2 if x is greater than or equal to negative 2, but the negative version if x is less than negative 2. So this means we should consider three separate cases. The first case is when x is less than negative 2. Both quantities would be negative, and so we would get negative x plus 3 minus x minus 2. We'll simplify, collect like terms, and we get negative 2x is less than 10, or x is greater than negative 5. Greater than negative 5 and less than negative 2 means x must lie between negative 5 and negative 2. So that's the first possibility. The second case is when x is greater than negative 2 but less than positive 3, in which case the first quantity would be negative but the second one would be positive. Simplifying, we get 3 plus 2, or 5, is less than 11, which is always true. So we take the second possibility in its entirety. Finally, if x is greater than or equal to 3, then both quantities would be the positive version of themselves, and this works out to be 2x is less than 12, or x is less than 6. Again, less than 6 and greater than 3 means it should lie between the two numbers. So, with these three cases, let's now look at the union of all of them. Notice that the intervals are consecutive, so the union would be from negative 5 all the way to positive 6. And that's the final answer. Now then, let's head over to Mathos AI and have it verify our work. I put a screenshot of the problem, and let's see. We have case 1, case 2, and case 3, and the same final answer. Great. Let's have a look at the video generation feature. Ever wondered how to find all the points on a map where the total distance from two specific landmarks is less than a certain limit? I'm not going to show the full explanation, but the key part here is the ability to visualize what's really going on, the number line, the intervals, and how the union of the three cases is the interval negative 5 to 6. Very interesting stuff. Do check out Mathos AI. Link is in my bio.